Viral Science, the home of creativity. This video is sponsored by Ultium 365. It's a very good PCB designing tool and Octopart, which is a very good and fast search engine for electronic components. Hey friends, welcome back to another video and in this video I'll show you how to make this amazing safety device. Now this is an accident detection and a location tracking system. Now it has multiple features like live location tracking, SOS alert system and accident detection. It also supports a phone call and SMS system as well. And this thing completely works with Blink application. Now we are using a TTGO T-Call SIM 800L module and with this module we can insert a SIM card into it and access the 2G connectivity. So we don't need any additional Wi-Fi connectivity to access the internet. With this 2G connectivity we can access the internet and connect it to Blink application. So this will be a great feature and we can use this from anywhere around the world. So this one is the first feature that is the real-time location tracking. So as you can see in my mobile application, the black dot indicates the vehicle. Similarly, you can see the same thing on the web dashboard as well. Even you can see the path through which the vehicle has traveled. Now let's see the second feature of this project that is SOS alert system. I have pressed the button and now you can see I have received a phone call that is the alert phone call and even I have received the SMS with the location and the coordinates of latitude and longitude. So here is the Google map URL link. So you can see the drop pin that is the location of our project. So now we'll test the third feature that is accident alert. So I threw this with some good pressure and it has created some jerk and now you can see I've received the alert phone call and even an SMS that is accident alert with the latitude and longitude coordinates and a Google map URL. So you can see the location of the project. Ultium 365 Designer is an amazing tool with lots of features that makes PCB designing very easy and fast. You can share your PCB designs with a click to your teammate and they will receive an email with the link where they can easily view the designs using the browser and comment the reviews and corrections on the project itself. Ultium 365 is a full build package and requires no additional licenses. And with the Octopart linked with Ultium, you can get real-time insights and the data of all the components. It's the fast search engine for electronic components and you can find each minute detail of the components in it. Links for the free trial Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart is in the description below. So, so for this project, you will need a TTGO T-Call SIM 800L module. Next you will need is a SIM card which supports 2G bands. Next you will need is a GPS. I am using Neo 6M GPS module. Then this is MPU 6050 gyro sensor. You can use any of these battery charging and step up modules. Next you will need is this push buttons. This is a slide on off switch. This is 10k ohms resistor. These are header pins for PCBs and these are the zero PCB boards. This is 18650 3.7 volt lithium ion battery holder and this is the battery. So step one is inserting the SIM card in this Lilygo board. Make sure you use any 2G supported SIM cards. Geo will not work here. This board has a dedicated battery connector so you can use a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery or a lipo battery and you'll also receive this connector with this board. But if you connect the battery with this battery connector you'll always need to press this button to turn on the board so, and the board does not turn on automatically. So I'll be using this type C port and with the USB cable. 
so whenever power is supplied via this type c port the board turns on automatically so i'll create a 18650 charging circuit on my pcb board and also i'll give a usb port on that pcb to connect this wire so this is the circuit connection of our project so refer this circuit diagram and do your connections properly these extra sensor and the extra button are not in use for this project just to add these features in my future projects i have added it from now only so finally all the connections look something like this and this is the battery charging and step up connection circuit so just to show you i'll arrange all the components on this pcb board and solder it from the other side I have completed all the connections as per the circuit diagram so you can see this from the other side so all these connections are right now exposed so I'll put some hot glue over it and seal these connections so now we'll connect all the boards over this PCB and it's ready to power on so here in the pcb i have added these two buttons the first button is for the sos alert system and the second one is the extra button and below this button you can see two female header pins and these are pins just to extend the wires for the buttons below this gps board you can see that i have added the extra sensor pins so right now I'm not using it but in the future I may use it so I have added it and through this micro USB cable you can charge your lithium ion battery and even you can keep it connected with your vehicle. So now it's time to program this TTGO T call board so just remove this board from the PCB remove all the connections and connect this with the USB wire to your computer. So go to blink dashboard and log in with your email address then go to templates and over here click on new template just give the name of your template and select the board as ESP32 board and connection type as GSM you can also give description of your project over here and click on done so now go to data streams and over here click on new data stream as virtual pin now here we'll add all the data streams first I'm adding latitude it is v1 type as and double then 0 and maximum will be 100 and decimal will be up to 5 and default value will be 0 so simply click on create button and similarly you have to do it for longitude as well here the pin will be v2 rest all settings will be same as latitude next we'll add is the sms button so type the name as sms and select the virtual pin as v7 keep the data type as an integer and click on create next we are adding is gmap that is the google map url select the virtual pin 6 
and select the data type as string. Now we'll add a speed. So select the virtual pin as V3 and select data type as an integer and the maximum value will be 1000 and you can also select the units as kilometer. Now all this is added, last thing we need to add is the map. So go to web dashboard and drag a map over here, click on settings and create a new data stream from here. So type the name map and select the virtual pin V9 for the map. Just click on create. Then do all the settings as I'm showing in the screen. Here you can select the arrow or the pointer, whatever you like and click on save. So now you can see data stream is added for the map as well. Now go to web dashboard and add the other widgets. So we'll add multiple labels. So first will be the latitude, select V1. Second will be the longitude, select V2. Third we'll be adding the speed, select the V3. Then we'll select one more label as the Google map URL. Then we'll need to add one button for the SMS. And after doing it, click on the save button. Now go to home. And here we need to create a new device from template and select the template which we created and click on create button. So here you will find all these credentials, just copy it and we need to paste the same thing in the code. This is the code of our today's project and first we need to install the ESP32 boards. So I've shared a link in the description down below where it will be explained how to install this ESP32 boards. So after installing this board, we need to add few libraries. So this is the first library, tinygps++. This is the second one and this is the third one. So I've also shared the link for this libraries and just go here and download the zip files. After downloading the zip files, go to sketch and over here, click on include library and over here, add zip library. So from this, you need to browse the downloaded files and locate the downloaded zip files and it will be added in the Arduino. So after this, you need to enter your phone number. So over here, you need to enter your phone number. This is plus 91 is your country code. So if you live in some other country, I live in India. So I've entered the plus 91, which is our country code. So if you live somewhere else, just enter your country code. And after that, enter the phone number before, just don't add any space or anything before this. So after adding the phone number, next you need to enter is your network provider's APN. So I'm using an Airtel SIM. So this is the APN of the Airtel SIM users. So if you are also using Airtel SIM, so you don't need to change anything. But if you are using any other SIM cards, so Google your APN and just enter your APN over here. So next we have to add is this blink credentials, which we have copied. If you didn't copy it, then you can find it in the device info. Just remove these lines and paste that one. So here you have entered all the credentials. So after doing all the changes, just go to tools, select the board as ESP32 Brewer module and select the port as the USB serial port and select the upload speed as 115200 and click on the upload button. Now to create the mobile dashboard, download the Blink IoT application and sign in with the same email address. And over here you will find your template. Just click on it. Go to developers tools and press on the add icon. And over here you can add all the widgets. So first I'm adding the map. Select the data stream as V9 for the map, what we did in the web dashboard. Similarly, you need to add all the labels.
So after setting up the mobile dashboard, you can see it will look something just like this. The blue pointer is your mobile's location and one drop down pin will also pop up when you power on the system for the GPS. You can even see the coordinates, latitude and the longitude and even you can see the speed. I've also added the Google map URL because this map widget is a feature in the pro subscription. So you need to pay to use this map feature. So if you don't want to pay and you just want to use it for free, then you can use this Google map URL. Just copy and paste this URL into your browser and even you can see the location. And at the bottom you will find this SMS button. When you press on this button, you will get a SMS with the latitude, longitude and a Google map URL on your phone number. It's time to test our project. So let's take a short ride and see how the real time location tracking works. So as you can see the screen recording, I have fast forwarded it. The blue point is of my iPhone's location and the drop pin is the location of uh, the project which we made. So you can see how it's moving. Similarly, you can even check it on the web dashboard and here you will also find the path through which the device has moved. Now let's test the second feature that is SOS alert system. So I'm pressing the button and now we should receive a call and a SMS. The call is just to notify you that something wrong. So you can just cut the call and open the SMS and over here you will find the Google map URL. Just open it and you can see the drop pin that is the location of our project. So I've changed the mode to default mode so you can see it clearly. So you can see the difference between my phone's location and the project location. It's somewhere around the difference of 5-10 meters. Now let's test the third feature that is the accident alert. So I've thrown this uh, project very hardly and it will create a jerk and again we should receive a phone call and a SMS. So yes, we received a phone call just for alert. So you can cancel this call and now you'll receive an SMS. Just open this SMS. You can see accident alert and again, you will receive a Google Maps URL. Just open this and again, you will find the drop pin of the project. So friends, I hope you like this video. Then do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.